Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Tina, also known as Bloomy Knitter, and this is Knitting Blooms. I have quite a bit of knitting to show you this week. It's amazing. I don't know if I just got my mojo back or I was just working on the right projects this week, but I do have a bit of knitting to show you. Before I get into that, I do want to mention again that we do have spots open for the first weekend of Knittopia. So if you're interested in possibly snagging a spot, we currently have four spots available. And uh, so maybe you and your friends could come and join us for Knittopia the first weekend. That would be the 16th through the 19th. And um, speaking of Knittopia, I have started making my list. <laughs> now, if you've ever been to a knitting retreat or any kind of knitting vacation or anything like that, there are lists. And I have started making mine. Now, I have a, a general list that I have been using for a number of years um, to go to retreats, my basic staple stuff that I bring every time I go to a retreat. Or I, I have, basically I have two lists. I have a list for Knittopia, because Knittopia is 11 days. Um, and I have a list for other retreats, because other retreats might only be a weekend, or I might be flying, or have limited space to carry a bunch of stuff. So I have my Knittopia list, and I have been adding things to it, and you know, jotting down notes, because as we get closer to Knittopia, I am bound to forget something. Um, and if I have, at least if I have a list, I can just jot it down on the list, and then I can remember it. As I think about it, I jot it down. And even though Sammy's numbers are good, and she is, she, he, <laughs> I'm doing much better, really. <laughs> he is um, getting decreases. Now, I did get a, we did take a decrease earlier this week, and there's still a slim possibility that he will go into remission in time for me not to have to take him to Knittopia with me. But um, right now, I'm starting his camp list <laughs> because he's going to need his own supplies and stuff for camp as well. So I've started making that list, and it kind of reminded me of the list of supplies that um, we got when we were going to summer camp and my mom had to, you know, pack our trunk for summer camp. You know, 12 pairs of underwear and seven t-shirts or something and then, you know, all these different things. Two bathing suits and two pairs of sneakers and, you know, so all these different things. And the, the list I'm making for Sammy kind of reminded me of that because as I'm writing down the food list, I'm writing six cans of this and six cans of that and five cans of this. <laughs> so it's um, actually it's actually kind of funny. So Sammy has his own camp list. Now I'm still really hopeful that he will go into remission in enough time, um, you know, before camp that we can actually get him off insulin and have like a trial period before I leave, but we would need to take some pretty fast reductions in the next two weeks, or next week and a half, I should say. So at this point, because the last reduction took over a week, um, I'm, not, I'm not that hopeful, but there's still a slim possibility. So yeah, so lists and lists for camp. We have lots of lists, and um, I still haven't really nailed down exactly what projects I'm going to bring. Um, it'll probably be simple projects because not only am I going to be in a group of people, but the brain power still isn't quite there just yet. I might take a more difficult project just in case I feel the need to do something a little bit crazy, but um, probably for the most part taking simple projects with me. Next up, I want to talk about uh, the VKN that is scheduled for next Friday, March 27th, from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
So if you are available and would like to join us on the VKN, please um, go to the VKN thread on the Ravelry group. And on Friday night, just before 7 p.m., I will post the link to the um, Google chat in the thread. Now I'll post it at the top of the thread and also in a post um, at the bottom of the thread. So you can get it either way. And um, so, yeah, come and join us for VKN on March 27th between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern. Actually, it's Eastern Daylight Time now. So if you don't do the Daylight Savings Time or you're in another country, you might have to figure out what the time is. Uh, it might be different for you. But it's Eastern Time in the United States. Um, what else? Last week I mentioned that I'm really trying to get back to doing my steps and so far this week I have done better, not great, but better. I think there was two days already this week that I got about 8,000 steps. Um, I'm trying to shoot for 10,000 but honestly because I've only been getting between three and 4,000 steps on most days. 8,000 is a huge leap, and so I'm, I'm calling those days wins even though they're not quite at my goal, uh, but there have been some other days that I haven't got quite 8,000 steps, and today um, I'm j almost at 6,000, and depending on what I do after I finish recording here will depend on if I get to 8,000. I'd have to walk for probably about 20 minutes to get another 2,000 steps. And I don't know if that is going to work out into my schedule for this evening. We'll see. So that's all the chitty chat um, that I have for you today. And now well, let's jump into the projects. I have lots of projects here to show you. So let's start with Halos of Hope hat. Now last week I showed you this hat. This was a completed object last week. And I had enough yarn well, I thought I had enough yarn to finish another hat. And I did, but it's a, it's a much smaller hat because I didn't have quite as much yarn as I thought. So it's quite a bit smaller. And what I had to do was I started working up. I think I only did 30 rows of stockinette on that hat. I only did, I did less rows on the cuff or the brim or whatever. And as soon as I started decreasing, I was looking at it thinking, there's no possible way, based on the yarn that I had left, that I was gonna make it. And even at that point, um, it was going to be yarn chicken, really. But so I did one row of decreases and um, let me see. Yeah, I, I decreased every single row from the very first row because I was just like, I just don't know if I'm going to have enough. And it, I think it turned out okay. It's a little a little um, puckery here at the top. Um, but it doesn't look too bad. And it kind of has a, a neat little swirl effect. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera. But there's kind of a little swirl effect with the, um, with the decreases. Uh, but yeah, it's a little puckery at the top. But it's not, it's not bad at all. This one was a little pointier at the top. Uh, but I think once you put it on your head, it, it'll be fine. But anyway, this hat will fit a child. Now, it fits me, but I have a tiny little head. And this is how much yarn I had left over. This is, this is how much of a yarn chicken I played. I won, but that's it. I don't even know. It's a, it's a little bit more, it's about 50 inches. <laughs> Or maybe 60 inches, because it's just about my wingspan. So about two yards, probably. A little bit less than two yards. Not much at all. But I made it to the top, and the hat is closed. <laughs> that was the most important thing. I think I only decreased it down to... Nine stitches. So yeah, there's nine stitches on there. And I think it's fine. Like I said, it'll fit a child. And so maybe, you know, a father and son can have matching hats or something. 
so that is my first finished object. Um, then I did another hat. Um, sat Sunday morning, actually. Uh, actually, Saturday night, I decided I wanted to make a girly kind of hat. And I wanted it to be quick, so I pulled out the crochet hook and I made this hat. Actually, I did the flower Saturday night because I was kind of like, I couldn't figure out how to do the flower. I can crochet. I'm not the best crocheter, um, but I can crochet. And it took me a while. It took me two tries to, to get the flower, but it's a really cute little flower for the hat. Maybe it's going to focus. There we go. And um, like I said, it took me two tries, but then I got it on the second try. And then Sunday morning, I sat down and I cast on for the hat. Um, this is actually a hat that I purchased from Ravelry. And it was a paid, I think it was a paid hat, a paid pattern. And it comes with the flower and the hat pattern. So it's very cute. It's got like a little scalloped, um, I think it's called, actually called a shell stitch. So, very cute little girly kind of hat. I made it in the child size. Uh, it would fit me. And actually, it's kind of cute. So, I did make it in the child size. But it's a really cute hat. So that's hat number three for Halos of Hope. I think, yeah, those two and then that one. And then, I started another hat. Uh, I just wanted another basic hat, and I have a number of single skeins of this Deborah Norville Everyday yarn, and I love this yarn. I think it's the best acrylic yarn that I've ever used, ever. It kind of does a little bit of splitting, but if you're careful, it's not a problem. Now, this hat would have been done today if I had remembered to take my double-pointed needles to work with me, but I didn't, so I still have an opening in the top, but I am was running short on stitches, so I couldn't continue to decrease. And I only had a 16-inch cable, so I couldn't even do magic loop. But I'm sure I'm considering this a finished object because... This hat will be finished this evening. It will take me maybe 15 or 20 minutes to finish. I could have sat down and finished it before I started to record, but I didn't want to do that. I just want to do sit down and get recording so that I can... I, ha I need to do a little, little bit of cooking this evening, so that's my plan. So I needed to get the recording out of the way so that I could get cooking. But it's another Deborah Norville, and I like this yarn because it, it does uh, stripe a bit, which is really fun, and it's a really nice, nice acrylic. So I might make a few more of these. I Like I said, I probably have another three or four single skeins of this yarn. Not Maybe not this color, but this brand and the little self-striping kind of action. So I do have plans for Maybe at least one or two more hats for Halos of Hope to donate at Knittopia. Then I also finished, oh my gosh, you know, look at all these projects that I finished in a week. The, the, the flower hat I finished in one day. The other hat I started and finished. And I also finished my socks. We do not have matchy matchy socks. Only because I was nervous about how the patterning went. Now that I know how much yarn I have left over, more than likely I could have started this one, um, I could have taken off this bit here and started at the, at the orange like I started this one, but I really did not know how much yarn I was going to have and how much I was going to have left over, and I was just really nervous that I was going to run out of yarn. So it's not a big deal that they're not matchy-matchy. There's the heels. But there's where I was before, those two markers you'll see. And I, it pretty much was at the, uh, at the heels, and I finished up the legs. And I like my legs long, a little bit longer than my foot. I usually knit my stockinette section until I reach the tip of my toe, and then I have about 20 rows or so of ribbing. And I always use the Jenny's Surprisingly Stretchy Bind-Off. Another 
finished object. And oh my gosh, I must be talking a mile a minute because we are only 15 minutes into the show and I'm almost done with everything I have to tell you for today. Just go, go, go. I think it's because I'm feeling rushed because I want to get the cooking done. So last week I mentioned that I was doing snuggles on my knitting machine and I had started knitting the, the snuggles on the machine. And what I ended up doing was I after I did a whole bunch of them, I ended up starting to take them off because the strip was getting way too long and then when I took the strip off, it was very cumbersome to work with. So I went ahead and I started separating them and taking out the waist yarn because I knit a little bit of waist yarn and then I knit my square and then I knit a little bit of waist yarn and then I knit the next square and so forth. So here's one of the ones that I have done and again, I'm using that Deborah Norville every day and we're getting that striping action again and you will notice at the top I have live stitches up there and at the bottom too and all I did was I just took my darning needle and I ran a just a string through and what I will do is when I go to work these I will what I'm going to, I'm going to go through and I'm going to do slip stitch crochet around the outside, then do a single crochet and then, um, on do slip stitch and then a single crochet and then do the same thing on the other one because I have two of exactly the same. And then I will put them back to back and join them. So the snuggle will be nice and cozy and squishy and just snuggly. So it'll be, it'll be double-sided and extra durable that way. So I have one snuggle. And none of these are done. It's just that they are, um, they are off the knitting machine. And then I have another snuggle. And what I noticed when I took these off the knitting machine is that the colors are slightly different. But it's not that big of a deal. Um... Let me see if I can show you. One's a little bit darker than the other. I'm not sure if you can tell from the camera, but one's a little bit darker than the other. But really, it's no big deal. It's going to be back to back, and it's for a an animal. So no worries there. So that's two. And then we have this one. This will be three. A nice little camo. And what I did was I did purposely buy two skeins of each of these colors because this is I knew that this is what I wanted to do. And then we have this one, which is four. So they, they do have a very large variety of colors and that will suit both genders. And then lastly, we have this one. And actually, I have one more over there. Um, that's still on the knitting machine because I, after I pulled these off, I started another one and I just haven't taken that off because I only have one more set of, of skeins after that one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven. So in all in all, I will have seven snuggles when I'm all done, um, with the yarn that I have. Now I probably will be able to make more because I do have more of that yarn, but it probably will be mismatched here and there. But I think I'm gonna try and make Sammy another blanket, another log cabin blanket or another blanket, some kind of blanket, um, because he really likes that yarn as well. So, those are all my projects. Um, I have been working on the log cabin blanket at work. I showed it to you. I actually took a picture, I think it was two weeks ago. Last week I had started block seven. I am still working on block seven. I think I have maybe eight or nine uh, ridges left in that block. Um, I would suspect that I might be able to get that done, um, I would think that I would be able to get it done by next week, but I'm not really sure because I am only working on that project at work and I can't always work on it because, you know, we're busy or we're not busy. You know, I can't 
always pull it out every just easily which is why I've been working on the hats and the socks because it's an easy project I can pick up and throw down when I get something that I need to do. I did do one and a bit of a square on my sock yarn blanket, but that project has not been worked on that much because, again, Sammy wants to sit on my lap all of the time. I mean, literally, I sit down in my chair, I take the blanket, and I put it over my legs, and within a minute, he's sitting on my lap. So, yeah. And, and I can't work on my sock yarn blanket when he's sitting on my lap. Now, when Krista wants to sit on my lap, she usually sits on the, the, um, my lower part of my legs. And I can still work on my sock yarn blanket when she sits on my lap. But not with Sammy because he likes to sit on the, the upper part of my legs. I think that's because they both sit at the same time. And then I have them both on my laps. My lap. I only have one lap. Uh, what else? Let's see. Um, I will be getting back to my spinning fate socks that have kind of been put on hold while I was doing the other socks. I believe that I only have, um, I'm working up the leg on both of them. So I could possibly have those finished by next week too. My knit swirl has got no love whatsoever. Never shall meet shawl has got no love whatsoever. Uh, preemie hats, I'm done, I'm up to date for March for my preemie hats, so I haven't been focusing on preemie hats, which is why I'm doing the Halos of Hope hat. Uh, so I probably will continue try to do Halos of Hope hats, uh, for my, like, kind of my quick project. So, so I have a few more of those to donate. I do need to do a square, though. A couple squares. So maybe I'll be working on that this week as well. Let's see, felted clogs that I was working on for Steve have gotten no love whatsoever. However, I really should finish them up because I probably should take them and the other three pairs that I have to camp and felt them. Because we do not have a washer that has an agitator in it at home. Now I can felt in my machine, but I have to run it through a two hour cycle because that's the only cycle that I can get super hot water. And I have to run it through like three times in order to get it felted enough, in order to get it, you know, agitated or shrunk enough. So I might just take them to camp with me because I could, I could uh, do them, at, I could felt them all at camp because they do have a washer that has um, an agitator. And so I might do that. But that means I have to finish that pair of, of slippers. <clears throat> and the mystery shawl. Still no love. Maybe it will go to camp with me. We shall see. This week I have not really worked on my spinning at all. Not at all. And that's pretty much it. We do still have the Knit Your Stash uh, threads going. Probably next week I will draw some more prizes for that. And that's about it. I'm still going to attempt attempt to do some tutorials for you uh, so I can post them while I'm away at camp. I really have to get my act together if I'm going to do that, honestly. Unless I do some really simple basic tutorials, which I do have a few in mind that I would like to do because I've done the... The, um, I think I've done the knitted cast on, I've done, I want to do a couple different casts on, so I want to do a couple different casts off, I want to just do some other basic, basic tutorials for people that are just learning how to knit. So, if I can, if I do those, those will probably be really easy, but I would really love to get the entrelock videos done. I am writing a pattern for the little washcloth for the tutorial and I just need to finish the last cast off row and maybe that's what I really need to focus on this weekend because what I could do is I could use that little washcloth for my donation at camp because every year we try to 
donate washcloths to the cabin or dishcloths or whatever. So that can be my little dishcloth for the cabin as well. Now you've got me thinking. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. I am doing much better. A lot of people have contacted me and wished me well with Sammy and hoping that he his numbers get back to normal. And honestly, everything is great with him other than the fact that I'm still a little stressed about whether or not he's going to hit remission before camp. But I've pretty much come to the realization that I'm just going to plan on taking him to camp and if by some miracle he goes into remission and we can do our trial before camp, then that would be fabulous. But otherwise, I'm planning on taking him. I mean, it's the only way I can feel comfortable that nothing's going to happen while I'm gone. Because I would be so stressed and freaking out and probably not be able to enjoy myself at camp if I'm worried about what's going on at home. So, I think once, once I, I got to that point where I figured, okay, there's no possible way he's going to go into our mission, be, you know, in enough time to do our, our trial of um, no insulin, then I started planning. But because of how his numbers have been the last couple of days since we took this last reduction, there still might be a possibility. I'm still, I'm still very hopeful. I will be hopeful up until the very last day that he ha he can go into remission or go into his, his trial before camp. I mean, it's possible that we will start our trial before camp, but just not in enough time to leave him home because he needs to have 14 days without insulin, which means he has to start his trial by April 5th, by April 1st. He's got to start the trial by April 1st in order to be cleared and be able to declare remission uh, before I leave on the 15th. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you guys all join us uh, next Friday for the VKM. I will talk to you next time. Bye for now. As always, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the show. Please feel free to contact me with your comments or suggestions as I am always trying to improve the show. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and YouTube as Blooming Knitter. You can also find me on Plurk, Twitter, and Pinterest as Blooming Knitter, but I don't frequent those sites as often. I post show updates on Twitter and Facebook, and sometimes to Google Plus and Plurk. I am Miss Aerobics on MyFitnessPal and Fitbit. You can always find all the old episodes as well as links to the tutorials on the blog at www.knittingblooms.com. And you can also follow the show on Facebook. You can email me at knittingblooms at gmail.com and show notes can be found at knittingblooms.com.